What's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick review on this movie I just saw with Jennifer Lawrence called No Hard Feelings. Never heard anything about this movie. This was quite refreshing. And I will say, timing is a big thing here because this movie came out amongst a sea of, you know, bloated, big budget, superhero, Indiana Jones, you know, just everything that feels like it's just so overblown and, you know, $200 million movies. His parents said if I, quote, date their son, they'd give me a Buick Regal. You won't even rent your house out, but now you're gonna rent out your badge? You have a Roadrunner tattoo covering your entire back. I don't think you should tell anybody what to do with their body. Nope. I'm gonna teach you how to have fun. Am I allowed to be here? You can't be scared of everything your whole life. Fuck. It's just refreshing to have a nice comedy. And I was even, you know, thinking to myself when I was watching this, is like, damn, it's, it's nice to actually, because the comedy seems like it's it's gone. Or maybe it's 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 in TV now. I don't know. I mean, there's some funny stuff on TV, but uh, movie-wise, there just hasn't been that many great comedies to come along. So here here comes this movie, No Hard Feelings, which I thought was pretty good. I don't think it's perfect. I think the first half is definitely the best stuff, and then I wouldn't say peters out because the story finishes itself, I guess. But anyway, yeah. Let, let me uh, let me give you guys a quick plot synopsis on this, okay? Jennifer Lawrence plays Maddie, and there's this kid named Feldman. He's like this young 19-year-old nerdy type. Uh, Andrew Barth Feldman is his name. I'm not gonna lie, I see this type of kid uh, a lot these days, and I think part of that might be the video game generation. Um, a lot of young people, they, they tend to gravitate towards video games these days. and. Uh, they don't really date that much. I'm not saying all gamers don't date that much. Sure, they do, but there is a small section that they can just get lost and consumed in just being introverted, you know. N not saying that this, this kid is a gamer or anything. This isn't about that. It's just about a very introverted, young, skinny male, and his parents, uh, played by Matthew Broderick and Laura Bonanti, uh, they play Allison and Laird, which that's kind of a fun uh, a joke in the movie by his name being Laird. Matthew Broderick's great in this. They're concerned about their son, and so they hire uh, Maddie, Jennifer Lawrence's character, to basically go date him, you know? And she is pretty much the antithesis of him. She's in her early 30s. Uh, her life seems to be going down a, a bad path, and so it, this, this is kind of a story of what happens when you put these two very different people from different sides of the tracks together, What what is that going to look like? Because on paper, it, it's not gonna work at all. And at first, it doesn't whatsoever. And as you're watching this movie, you start asking yourself, like, they're not really gonna put them together, are they? And I'm not gonna tell you if they do or not, but uh, they're just an unlikely pairing. But I think this movie, in the end, is more about acceptance and, and friendship. And I think there's a good character arc in this as well on both parts. Um, but the main thing that I think works so well about this is the comedy. It is really, really funny. I would say even hilarious at moments, especially in the first half. Jennifer Lawrence, I think she's a natural at comedy. And if you've seen movies like Silver Linings Playbook, you can definitely see that talent there. And uh, there's some really, great awkward and uh fun moments with her in this and, and you are just laughing your ass off but it does have a, a heart to it i don't think it sends it home perfectly but i still think there's a lot of fun to be had along the way now i will say my favorite scene in this movie is this kind of a tender moment where she's on the date with the kid and he you know he's extremely shy and she kind of coaxes him to get up and play the piano and he, he plays the, the song Man Eater by Hall and Oates. And man, it is a beautiful moment in the movie. Very talented uh, young man. It's kind of a pivotal moment in the movie too. And I think this is the moment where the movie starts descending a little bit. Um, I guess it doesn't stick the landing all the way. Still, overall, I still had a, a, a great time with this. It was just very refreshing in a time of movies that are just... Everything's like, you know, action, superhero type stuff. And um, this was nice. It, it was a nice moment to just sit and enjoy and laugh. You know, character driven, just very character driven. So I highly recommend going out to see this movie. I'll give it a high humdrum. 
like I said, I don't think it's like the the most heartwarming thing in the world. I, I think the script could, could have definitely used some work in the last half, but that first half, uh, there are some side splitting moments for sure. And uh, I think Jennifer Lawrence, uh, she proved herself to me in this because I haven't been the biggest fan of hers um, throughout her career, you know, especially when she does like superhero type stuff. I've never been the biggest fan, but uh, loved her in Silver Linings Playbook. And I think maybe she should stick to these type of roles because she was uh, a, a star of this movie in a big way. So, yeah, so that's my, that's my review for No Hard Feelings. Uh, I'm going to recommend it to you guys. Definitely check it out if you get a chance. Take a break from the superhero type stuff. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Also, guys, be sure to check out my second channel, Drum Dumbs Extra. Um, I, I thought long and hard about this uh, because a lot of my live streams, I'll do the clips and everything. And sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll put, I'll have like three or four videos that I want to put out at the same time. I'm like, you know what? Instead of fighting that algorithm, why don't I create a second channel for you know more niche type stuff, you know, more, I guess, podcast type stuff, you know, clips. Clips are big these days. And uh, so that channel is going to be more for stuff like that and uh, maybe, maybe my drum boxes and whatnot. So, yeah, I'll definitely put a link here for Drum Dumbs Extra. A lot of fun stuff. I just dropped a video over there today. There's like five videos over there now. So, yeah, definitely check that stuff out. Also, be sure to come over to Kill Flex where we talk all day and every day on Fridays. We do Free for Fridays. Follow me Drum Dumbs on my social support me on Patreon. Buy me a coffee. You know, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Drum Dumb out.